the Broncos 51-48. It was a matter yeah. of uh, who would throw the one interception. It happened to be Tony Romo. He threw for over 500 yards, but he made one bad read, and it cost them, unfortunately. It was a good pick. It was a really good pick. It was a pick. very good pick from a uh, rookie. Uh, but it was thrown softly, and he threw into triple coverage, and DeMarco Murray, as you pointed out, Rick, was open underneath. Wide open. Uh, you know, I, I, just, I, I feel like I'm going to take the mainstream cautionary thing here. Yeah. It's very easy to get on Tony Romo. I felt really bad for him. He made a colossally huge mistake at the end of the game. Yeah, I get all this. You throw for 506 yards, put up 48 points. It shouldn't come down to that. Like, he, he played a great game. I, I feel sick for him. Did you see the end of the game? Uh, no, my I watched actually 95% of the game, and then my wife made me have dinner in the last half an hour because it's okay, we're recording. Oh, no, it the stopped. recording switched to Caillou <laughs> for my three-year-old son. <laughs> and so Caillou? I missed the end of that game. Some but here's what you would have loved is that after the game, of course, the 51-48 <laughs> game, Peyton Manning, the way the quarterbacks come after the game, Manning came up to Romo and obviously was like, hey, man, you were awesome. Don't let it get to you. Great game. Way to go. And I thought you in particular would have loved whatever that conversation of your world of colossal chokers was. Right. Look, look, I do it in the playoffs, Tony. Don't worry about it. It's not, yeah, yeah. It's not it's Tony's like, well, me too. <laughs> okay. okay, so look, here, here's the thing. It, for, to be fair, Peyton Manning also threw an interception earlier in the game. Obviously not at the critical time that Tony Romo did, uh, but it, in some ways it encapsulates Romo's career. Actually a really good quarterback with really good numbers, by the way, for a long time and maybe still this year, yeah. Tony Romo wins you fantasy football championships. He does. Tony Romo, Reggie Wayne, those are guys to have because they're surprisingly solid. They go lower in the drafts, etc. Anyway, Romo's good. Yes, obviously at this point the the information is overwhelming that he, that he chokes. But for some insane reason, I'm the guy who's most obsessed with choking. I I believe I don't. I think there's something there that if Romo had a good coach, he wouldn't necessarily be a joker. I, I would love to see Tony Romo. I mean, I hate the Cowboys. I would love to see Tony Romo succeed. I really would. Yeah. Um, I, in a weird way, I'm rooting for him, and I don't believe that he's the loser that everybody else yeah, thinks I sort he of, is. Somehow I think he's just gotten a couple of bad breaks. Next, Denver plays uh, Jacksonville, as a matter of fact. 28-point line. Biggest spread in line. the history of the NFL that holds 28 points. Yeah. And you might go with Denver. And Dallas against Washington on uh, Sunday night.